So let's shop. Before I do any online shopping, the first thing I do is have a look at my Pinterest boards for some inspiration or just to have a look through one of my wish lists. Once I do that, I head to any website that comes to mind. The first one today is ASOS and I do have a look through the new in, but truth be told, I get a little bit overwhelmed by just how much stock they have. As I'm jetting off on a few vacations, I'm having a look for these sandals. These are the Tava sandals and they come in a few different heel heights. I feel like these were a little bit too chunky of a platform for me so I decided to skip on those and go for the smaller platform instead. And then I just checked on out of there before I impulse bought anything from there. First to arrive was the Tava sandals and I really liked them at first glance. I thought they looked very comfortable definitely fit the dad sandal image. The only thing is I do think that they might be just a little bit out of my comfort zone, not necessarily my style, so not sure how much wear I would get out of them. Saying that if you are interested in them, they were so comfortable to wear, very spongy. So if you're looking for something for a holiday or where you're going to be walking around a lot, even if it's local, these are perfect sandals and they're also just so on trend. So I'm on Netaporter, they have 25% off, so I'm just looking on there at some things that have been on my wish list for a long time, such as these Adidas trainers. So I'll have a look at the promotion and just tag any items or brands that I am looking for and see if anything that has been on my radar is discounted. For example, this beautiful bag which I am obsessed with. This has been on my radar for a long time and I really love that curve and mould that it has on the back. I think it'll be such an amazing summer bag. First out of the net Porter box is the Low Classic bag. Oh my god guys, I absolutely adore this bag. I think it's so perfect, it's very vintage, it's very minimal, so sleek and so sophisticated. That crop print is perfect, really complements my neutral camel wardrobe. I think it just makes everything look quite put together and smart. It's very roomy as well, so there's quite a lot that you can fit in here. I managed to fit in a camera lens, um, my camera, my phone, my wallet, my battery pack. So it's definitely very practical, but it's not such an oversized bag that it's heavy. It's quite lightweight, perfect for running around in. Next are the Adidas trainers. So these I really liked at first glance. The only thing I wasn't too keen on was the grained leather. I did want to see what it was like in person, but I'm just a little bit unsure, but I really love that sporty element that it has. I really like how casual and how relaxed they are. They're definitely very comfortable. They do still have the tag on and it's been a few days. I think I just need to really think about it, but it does look like it might go back just because I think I would always reach for my pages instead of these. Moving on to in-store shopping. So I have been after some sandals and I really wanted the Prada Hurricane sandals, but they were out of stock, but I came across these. So I thought I should try them out and see how I feel about them. I wasn't that obsessed. I wanted a bit more of a spongy platform. And although these did look nice, I don't think I could justify the price tag attached to it, but they are a really good high-end option. Before buying anything designer, I think about it. I go and have a look at it in store. And I think about it some more. So I really love the Dior saddlebags. So I wanted to have a look at it in store. I love the smooth buttery leather. I love it in black because I think it will go with absolutely everything and anything. It's very formal, but it's also very casual, but it is a very hefty price tag. So really have to give it some thought before I take the plunge. Then heading into some more stores, I went to Mango and had a look around and the first thing that popped out to me was this jumpsuit. The material was really nice and soft but I didn't notice the tassels and the fact that it doesn't have pockets and I think that the shape, it could have overall just looked a little bit better. It wasn't the most flattering piece on my body shape. One of my favourite stores in London is the shop at Bluebird. It's tucked away in Covent Garden and they tend to stock higher end pieces but it's just all house under one amazing roof. I love the decor in here. 
but unfortunately I didn't find anything that I was after and the things that I did want were out of stock so, so I kind of ran out of luck there. When it comes to shopping in store my favourite way to shop in store is going to the top shop personal shopping appointments. Now for those of you that don't know these are actually free and they offer such good quality service and they pick up pieces that they really think will suit your style. So when you're going to book your appointment you basically run through the website, you explain what you're after, you have a choice of what kind of appointment you want so you just pick it according to your needs and give them a little bit more insight over here just let them know what you're after and their personal shoppers will basically tailor a wardrobe for your specific needs so emma my personal shopper really hit the nail on the head and picked out so many neutrals for me all these pieces were perfect for a summer getaway the first thing i tried on was this cord which i really liked i thought the top was really expensive looking it looked really premium the tortoise shell buttons were a nice touch and also the brown stitching running through it i'm generally a size a across board this top is in a size a and it's still a little bit oversized so you have that really nice relaxed look the next thing i tried on and fell in love with was this skirt from the boutique selection and emma paired it with this body and i thought it was a really nice minimal relaxed look for a summer vacation and this skirt is so beautiful it's very silky it's 100 percent viscose and it just feels very luxurious it has this really nice slit and this really amazing looking bow detail so it is a bit more of a wrap skirt which means it's a little bit more airy if you're going to a very hot country. This is something you could definitely dress up or down, so I think it's really versatile. So it kind of feels more of a smart purchase. Next up is a pair of really versatile trousers that I think is perfect for anyone and everyone's style. It's kind of a classic piece that you will get so much wear out of. I really love the relaxed look of this. I think it's something that, again, you can wear formally and casually with a pair of trainers. I pair the look with this very 90s feel bag. It's in a crop print with really lovely tortoise and gold hardware. It's kind of the it bag of this season and this is at such an affordable price. It's £25, which is an absolute bargain. Next up, we have a pair of heels and a bit more colour. So these plum coloured heels are just so cool. I really love that slim rectangular heel. I think they are a very cool touch just making it a little bit more unique than the average strappy heel. I think that this style is really nice because you could just add a little bit of fun to a simple outfit which my summer looks tend to be. As I live in England the weather can be a little bit temperamental so sometimes you don't want to just walk out in a cami top but this is a really nice alternative because it's knitted so it gives a little bit of warmth but it won't make you <laughs> feel like you're roasting away. But I really like that layered rib look so they have different patterns within that knit and I think it's just a really lovely classic piece and only £19 which is extremely affordable. Final piece which I did already style with another outfit but it's this blazer and it's a very formal blazer but you could definitely dress it down. The buttons on this are really beautiful. That collar lapel makes it just a little bit more interesting. I think that summer whites are such a lovely way to introduce a bit of freshness and make your outfits for summer just a bit cool and if you're like myself and you don't really dive into much colour it's just a really nice way to brighten up your summer look without taking away from your personal style and that's me done although the whole shopping experience wasn't the most successful i do think that i made some smart purchases and i didn't really <laughs> just buy things for the sake of it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye